Okay, I hope I'm filming myself. I'm doing this without a uh, selfie stick. But uh, today is Tuesday, February, uh, March uh, 6th, I think it is. And uh, it is a beautiful sunny moment. And we are getting ready for a potential nor'easter. We just had a really wicked rainstorm on Friday through Saturday. Uh, three inches of rain around here is a lot of rain. You can see behind me, there's nothing, nothing that it seems to have affected. So we're heading out to the uh, chicken coop. I'm getting a late start. It's almost 10 o'clock. The girls have the run to be in, but they like to get out past the run. Hello, ladies. Everybody doing a dust bath there, huh? Well, that's good to see. That's exactly good to see. Hope you can see it through the video here. And uh, that's exactly what I was thinking I need to do. Because I think one of my chickens has got a problem. Um, it's uh, scaly chicken feet. Which is caused apparently by a mite. Or a, or a flea or something. Now the thought that those two girls have not gotten up to come out and see what I'm doing from their dust bath makes me think, wow, they must really be wanting it. It's my first uh, chicken issue that I have to contend with. Hello, ladies. And I'm going to come down, zoom in. I don't know. You can see on some of them. Yeah, I'm seeing it on Sydney, but it's most profound on Chica, the brown chicken. You can possibly see her feet are being really scaly. So I can show that. Come on, girls, let me have the sunlight. Well, either way, I have an issue, and uh, I'm gonna have to do something about it. All right, ladies, I'm gonna give you a little bit of scratch, and then I gotta get going. I see you got water. Water and food's good in there. All right, bye bye. We'll continue with uh, more stuff later today. All righty, ladies. What's up, girls? But he's just kind of chilling out here, huh? They're going to town on the garden. They've done what I want them to do. And they've even come around here. Today they were down in this area. I threw them... Well, it's gone. <laughs> I threw them some greens. They're all gone. They like that. And uh, they can go all the way back to here. Have to look at that corner, make sure that they can't get out. I don't think they will if they can. But you can see that they're certainly finding stuff worth digging for. Right, ladies? And I have one problem, and uh, something I'm going to have to address. We have a storm coming tomorrow, so I'm going to wait until after that. But um, I have some. I guess they call them scaly leg mites, and I'm going to try to zoom in on the hen that has the most. And if you look at her feet, come on girls, move away. Well, that's a pretty healthy looking foot right there. But if I go over to here and look down at her feet, you can see that they're kind of scaly. And, uh, well, it's not the best video. I'm zoomed in and I can't really see. But they have something called scaly foot mites. And Chica's got it pretty bad. You can see here on uh, Zippy's foot, a little of it. It's not too bad there. And then if I look at Luna's feet, they're a little scaly too. And from what I came up with, not that I think John Siskovich is the end all be all, but he, uh, he went to the trouble of getting the advice of somebody, a professor at Connecticut State University. And the remedy for, a remedy for this, although I don't know how I'm going to get rid of them. I have to assume that they're in the, in the ground. Is a quite sounding radical thought. But to take gasoline, yes, you heard me, gasoline 
and dip their feet in them, in it, for about 45 seconds. Take them out, let them air dry, and then uh, shortly after that, take um, it was called A and D cream or vitamin A, vitamin D cream. It's something that they would use for babies for a diaper rash. I don't know how it differs from something like a petroleum jelly, like a Vaseline. Again, if you're not from the States, maybe you don't know that uh, it's just a brand name. But you can kind of see the feet there. Oh, come on, let's go. There you go. And you can see that there's like scales popping up. Um, feather leggers, like, uh, like Sydney here, are more commonly prone to it. And she's got some too. And this one's just bopping around, checking out the scene, see what there is. So some of the things I'm doing to try to combat is getting them better dust bathing, dust bathing facilities. So what I've had for quite a long time, I just head into the cage here a little bit, um, is this little area here is filled with um, like a children's sandbox sand. And now in the back, I have more of a official sandbox, which is uh, underneath the coop and behind the side there. There's a piece of plexiglass, so I think it should be dry. And I'm hoping that they'll go up and into there and do some dust bathing. Otherwise, uh, I don't know what I can do to help keep them from getting this again. I think they're probably going to... Do a jailbreak on me right now, too. Who's going? Oh, there they go. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Come on back in here. Come on. Come on. Let's go. This one's decided to do a jailbreak. You stay in. Come on. That gets them every time, but... I really didn't want to give him any. Um, so tomorrow, uh, not tomorrow rather, hopefully by the weekend I'll have had the opportunity to do this treatment for the scaly leg mites. Here comes Sydney. Always late. And this is their, this is one of their places that they like to spend time when I come over because they'll figure they'll get scratched there. But now they're all running in as if there was something better in there. Like they almost just discovered the blue tub. I think by nature they're curious. I see Zippy is heading over to it to see what it is. And um, I'm hoping that this will uh, eliminate my problem. So as far as other projects go, I can show you that there has been a whole lot of progress. A little bit, not a whole lot. I um, completed the framing and I had bought a tarp to be sort of a side wall to the coop over yonder, over that way. It's a six by eight white tarp. You can see that I've bent the, the ribs or the, whatever you want to call them, um, with the pipe bender. And uh, the nature of my setup right now is that I can raise and lower in here. Right now I have them down. So this down is, I may have covered this in another video, it's about six foot high. And um, I haven't done much because there's no urgency yet. And it gives me time to decide what I want to do. Ultimately, I'm going to probably initially cover this with uh, a clear poly plastic. I'll probably do the, t the bottom separate from the top. And do it maybe in a way that it's stapled to the, f to the railing, uh, about this, this railing here. And able to be rolled down um, on four sides. And the top will come up and over and I'll have to work out something on the ends. I'm, I'm, not even, I'm still not sure what to do on the end here for a, a gate. This is really, I just put this in, but I'm thinking that I'm going to come up and down um, here, you know, and then here someplace, two vertical segments coming up and down so that I can actually get in. I'll make a small opening of some sort. Um, I don't know if I showed this the last time, but this is with the uh, styrofoam board in place. I did that just to kind of get a sense of fit. And if you look 
from behind, you know, it's it's a good wall. If I use this as a brooder, I would probably include that. Okay.